the tackle. Otherwise, that would have been a penalty against him. Burden spins out of the tackle, but a great second effort there from Springer brings him down. Last tackle, centre field, Wakefield, 10 metres out. Looking for the first score of the game. Gale gives it out to Jowett, gives it out to Wormsley. There's space for Wormsley, who dives over acrobatically in the corner. And the referee's going to point to the spot, awards the try to Lachlan Wormsley. By Springer and add it, but left some bodies on the ground and plays it quickly. Gale gives it out to Jowett. Jowett out to Wormsley again. Wormsley with a carbon copy finish in the corner. Scores his second try in just five minutes and Max Jowett the man doing all the damage this time he got the ball out the back so the tap restart game back underway Addy has the ball there's a great pass there for Harcastle back inside to Danny Addy who scores under the post and what a way to bring up your 500 points of your career really slick play from the Featherstone captain a lovely delayed shot pass to Hardcastle straight off the tap from the penalty Hardcastle went through found his skipper back on the inside he dives over under the post and that's just the try that Featherstone needed to get back into this contest and who better blood to go to than the skipper we've got 22 minutes gone at the Millennium Stadium it's now Featherstone Rovers 4 Wakefield Trinity 12 meters in from the far left touchline still tackles remaining Looping pass in field to Addy, to Springer, a little bit of a run around, gives it to Burrs, gives it to Aikens, Aikens straightens things up, pokes his nose through, goes down to the tackle of Ashurst, that'll be the last one. Big last play coming up for Featherston, short side play, Addy, going to do the kicking duties, gets it into the goal area, he's bounced off and he's locked the ball on! Can you believe it? And the six tackles more, centre field, 25 metres out. Scrub feed is one, given to Bowes into the line, out the back to Aikens, the space, Aikens double pops, straights it up, inside Caleb Aikens, scores to the right hand side of the post, and throws the ball into the crowd, he's mobbed by his teammates, and they were knocking on the door for a few sets before that, but this time, Featherston find the right play, Caleb Aikens out the back off the scrum win, Gersten on the outside of his man, had a man on the outside, he didn't need him, he dummied, sold the dummy, went back in field and touches down to the right hand side of the post, just what Featherston needed to start the second half. Still a couple of tackles to come for Trinity, Doyle, short ball there for Burden, great defensive play for Featherston, they got four numbers into the tackle there to bring him down in the shadow of the uprights, last one, pass out to Gale. Gale to Lido, Lido out to Jowett, Jowett on to Wormsley who's on a hat-trick and he scores in the corner and runs to celebrate with his teammates and the fans, Max Jowett the architect once again and that could potentially be the try that seals the two points for Wakefield Trinity.